tools and supplies. Got some filters, uh, an air filter for when I spray paint, and a quarter inch rivet gun. This quarter, uh, the other rivets were just a little small, so I had to get a quarter inch rivet gun. Guys, for those of you who plan on taking on one of these projects that are single, <laughs> when you're doing it, it's going to take a lot of your time, so you better have a very good understanding girlfriend or wife because it takes a lot of your time. I mean, take my wife. Please. Well, today I think I'm going to clean up some of the rust on the, um, the console that's disassembled and maybe weld in a couple pieces. It looks like on this one, this one is really a ratty piece of metal here. I may have to end up fabricating that entire thing. Uh, hopefully not, but that looks like it end up, might have to do that. Uh, got some stuff here to put on there that will prevent rust or actually encapsulate it and change it to something else. It's a chemical I'm going to put on there. I'll show you that in just a second. Yes, that prep and etch. Um, I think it's a rust converter um, and it inhibits the flash rusting. So I'm going to start cleaning up some of this rust and get some of this stuff on there and see how that works. Okay, what I've been doing is um, just wire brushing. Getting the surface rust off and putting on the phosphoric acid. Okay, I cut out the rust and I've welded in a little uh, patch right here and I'm in the process right now of grinding it trying to get the weld smooth okay I've ground down the weld there not too bad all the Park marks from the uh, rust. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that uh, phosphoric acid on here right now. Let it get all through everything. And after that, um, I'm going to fill this in with uh, some all metal or some body filler to cover up all the little pinholes in there. A little hard to weld on the pitted metal, but yeah, you got to do what you got to do. So now for the phosphoric acid. Basically, I just take this stuff and almost like put it on. It goes on real, it's real thin. So it's kind of like water. And I'm uh, not sure if you can see that or not. Turn it up here. It instantly starts turning. Turn a lot of the, the stuff to um, black, whatever the chemical reaction is, it happens. So, any who's already done um, the back side of that console part, it says let it sit overnight. It should be all black. It's all black now, but it's dry up and to be ready to get ready for uh, cleaning up and getting some filler on there. Okay, here's what I decided. On this piece here, I had a friend come over and he said this is not a really hard piece to just make. So this piece right here, I'm going to just make a whole new one out of just regular, excuse me, 18 gauge sheet metal. Uh, on these other ones, I was able to put on the phosphoric acid and I'm gonna let it sit overnight and down here as well. And um, it's a little bit bigger of a job than I thought on that. So boys are going to be coming home from school this is the first day of school and that's why I'm able to do this this father and son project has turned into a father project anywho um, hopefully I can get out here tomorrow and do some more and maybe get some more welded metal and get this center console done this summer see you next time thanks for watching thank you very much don't forget to tip your waiters and waitresses